Hello and welcome to a Grand Tour special, which comes to you from the emptiest, most sparsely populated country on Earth, Mongolia. Now, ordinarily, when we go on these adventures, we're we have a vague idea about the sort of things that we might be doing, but this time, we don't. No, not a clue. An hour or so later, though... That's a chopper. There! Look! Yep. Isn't he landing? No, oh, what's he doing? Whoa, look at that! What's he dropping? It's got to be supplies. Firewood. Food. Shelter. Hats. Hats? Well, you need a hat. It's sunny. You've it's sunny. Fly up. out hats to it. So that, he's, that's him gone, then? That, he's not landing. No. Does that mean we're not going home, then? Well, <laughs> James, the helicopter has buggered off. So this is the webbing that... We have to take. So that comes off, I suppose. Oh, hello. Oh, there's a crowbar there, so that's... Good. Right, lifting it here. Oh. oh. That's it. Thank clip. Well, water. What's in? The hell? Oh, sh is that an engine? That's an engine. A TDI of some sort. Vehicle lights. That is a rear axle. It is. That's a master cylinder. Guys, I don't need to look in the other one. We have an engine, we have headlights, we have a rear axle. There's enough spare parts to build a car. Oh, yeah. come on. Here? As the other two opened the third crate, I found a mysterious bag. OK, well, straight away, that's a windscreen. Which confirms it. Uh, yep. Guys. What the hell is it? A Land Rover. What's that? I have a letter. The nearest civilization is a town called Moron. Is it? That's a surprise. Yeah. It's hundreds of miles away. In order to reach it, you must build the contents of these boxes. You have enough food and water for seven days. What's that? That's the town, then. Moron. And that's the start. We're here. Well, we've got to go northeast, haven't we? But how far is that? Well, we don't know. It says hundreds of miles. Yes, but, oh, yeah, but... but first... <laughs> what? All we need to do is assemble this lot into a car. And since our lives depended on not crashing, Jeremy and I secretly agreed that Hammond should never be allowed to drive it. Right. This is it. Here we go. Yes! <laughs> oh, my God, it works! Good, OK, right. Oh, James, important thing. In Mongolia, when you start on a journey, you have to turn right. 
Is that true? Yes, that is, is true. That a thing? Yeah, it is genuinely but every a thing. time. Every Wherever time, if you, you begin go. a journey, you go right. You go right, here we go. No. This is it. Go, go, go! Doing something you can't even left. Hang on, the wheels are too. Hey, just turn it. Okay, go left, and now set off. The, the steering's back to front, Hammond. How have we done that? Oh. What do you mean it's back to front? Well, I'm turning left. Well, you're not. You're just going. So just no. go, turn it the other way then. Turn right. it the other way. I'll turn it the other way. That's straight. Right. And now I'm turning right, and it's going left. So I need to, to, to With... keep. But what have you two been doing for the last two days? We put the hydraulic pipes on oh, the wrong way round yes. for the steering. <laughs> Having fixed this minor issue, we set off again. Oh, it works if we're going along! Our car is great. The ride is good. It's not bad, is it? It's genuinely brilliant. Can we have a mild brake test? Yeah, OK, here we go. Like Come it. on! They're pretty good, actually. No, well, whoever bled those, well done. Good job. That was you, wasn't it? No. But the doors, I can claim. And the number plates. We had no idea how far it was to Moron and no real idea of how to get there. But Mr Wilman's stupid map said we should head, first of all, to the Sandy Pit. Right, you see between those two yep. and that valley, stick to the valley floor. Go! Oh, God. That's the sandy bit. That's massive. In fact, it was just a small, detached bit of the Gobi Desert. But even so, it would be the first real test for our hastily built, homemade car. Go. Do you know how many paved roads there are in the whole country? Two. Oh, no! Step 
compass. This is where we are going to need it. So I put the N on the end, don't I? And then you're looking for northeast. It's sort of that way. It's, yeah. The car had a low-range gearbox, but as its engine was a bit gutless, Hammond and I got out to reduce weight. They say this is the dark heart of Asia. Perhaps that's why no one comes. But, I mean, look. And the other thing is, Genghis Khan created in just 20 years the biggest empire the world has ever seen. Why? It's not like he was cramped here. Oh. I don't really want to go to a town. Oh, oh, me. Said the camera. We really are good at wildlife photography, are we? Oh, me. <laughs> As we admired the view, the world's best off road driver was beginning his ascent. Bollocks. Try it up that way. James, back it up. Ah! Whoa, not again. With Hammond's help, James finally got up the dune. Yes, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep going, keep moving. Mind that tip. Oh, yes! But from then on, the going got tougher and tougher. Oh, come on. Oh, that's yeah, what okay. I meant. That's Go what on. I meant. Right, dig in. Yes! Try it up that way. Go. <laughs> I'm the only one who's driven John up hill, but I'm telling you, that's too steep. As Jeremy continued to amaze us with his interesting facts about Mongolia... I do know that one of Genghis Khan's cavalrymen could shoot an arrow through a marmot's head from 250 feet away while galloping. It started to go dark, but because we'd covered so few miles, we had to plow on. Let's sing a song. No. Desperate to cover more ground, we didn't pitch the tents till 1 a.m. And then, after another cold night of frost-hard misery, we wondered how we could make our car more comfortable. <laughs> Tell you what, I thought of in the night. Yes. We should give our vehicle a name. John. John's John's a good solid name. I like it. It's honest. It's unpretentious. Dependable people are called John. Yes. John Lewis. That is a dependable shot, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Because it's called John. With the comfort mods complete and John duly christened, we set off in search of our next waypoint. The watery part. However, Hammond was not happy. Why are you driving? You drove yesterday. I didn't. 
did drive yesterday. I didn't. You can't remember anything, can you? His memory's got your memory damage. It's just getting appalling. I didn't drive. I still haven't driven it. To keep Hammond's tiny mind from thinking about driving, we put him in charge of navigation. And weirdly, he was rather good at it. So we've got these two, these two mountain ranges, and we go left, and the water bit will be over there. Begin! One in every 200 people alive today can trace their ancestry back to Genghis Khan. <laughs> Thanks to John's incredible achievement, we could now see what was what. Nice one, Hammond. No lakes. Well, we, we can now rule it out. We know it's not there, it must be somewhere else. Yeah, it is. Exactly. No, no, I mean, <clears throat> it is. Exactly. It's there. <laughs> and so now we know where we are in relation to it. With the Twin Lakes found, we could plot the next leg of our journey. Some trees are northeast, look, and there's a bumpy meadow beyond. It's definitely northeast. After a pleasant drive round the lakes and past some trees, we eventually arrived at the bumpy meadow, which didn't sound too bad. However... Go! Power, power, power! You know on other TV shows where you've got, like, explorers and stuff? Yeah, they don't moan. Holy moly! One of the things I'm worried about is... Hemorrhoids from these seats. Whoa, bumpy. I just dislocated oh, my pelvis with that bumpy. Oh. Bump! Oh, oh, that was gone. Cool. Ow! This is 500 miles. Let's say we've done 100, even if we've done 100. Yeah. Which is yeah. probably about right. Don't think about it. Oh, 400 more miles of not sleeping, not drinking, and driving over that sort of stuff. God, I'm not here. I wouldn't even call that a meadow. It's not a meadow. I reckon it was invented by Genghis Khan, people he hated. Jeremy. You've been driving for 12 hours straight. Yeah. Uh, you've done really well and you must be exhausted. There we go. Well, no, I'll tell you what, why don't I... Yes, yeah, go on. Really? Yes. I'm, I can't sit really? listen oh. to this twittering on anymore. Quickly. Really? Well, I'll gladly... Brilliant, thank you. Really? Well, he just won't shut up. Can I drive? Can I drive? Well, no, it's fair enough. Can, can I, I drive? Can I, can I drive? No, I want to drive. I built it. Enough. I want to drive. <sighs> First is over towards James. <laughs> Away! Oh, yeah. No, stop, 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 stop. What? Well, I'm just thinking, hang on. This is literally the most perfect spot. He's right. Why don't we pitch camp here? That is, a, that is a top camping site. Look at the view. I mean, look at the view up. there. No, seriously, that is a per... Even you've got to admit that's a perfect Yeah, shut it down, Hammond. We'll pitch camp here. With that done, we resumed our journey. And since the very big crack was one of the features on our Winnie the Pooh map, 
we knew that next up was the wooden house. It doesn't say what the house is. Could it be a pub? Uh, well, well, it could be. Exactly right. Or just an off-license. If it is a pub, on that map, it's about 100 miles high, so we won't miss it. Oh, no, this pub is bigger than the Gobi Desert. At this point, our conversation was interrupted by something hilarious. Oh, my oh. God! Oh, dear. Can we just see that on that camera? I don't know if we can turn it round a bit. That's our camera tracking car. <laughs> it's stuck. stuck. John Are we isn't. Stuck? John no. is not stuck. As we needed the camera crew to make this miserable trip worthwhile, we had to rescue them. You're feeling a bit smug. I am actually full of smug. Yeah. Okay, right, here we go. Ready to go. In three, two, one. We're off. It. John has succeeded! John has pulled the mass-produced Toyota Land Cruiser out of the mire. Here's the message we're giving you all. by Mongolian. I've got incredible aches and pains across my shoulders. Oh. There is no bit of me that doesn't ache. There's no bit of me that's warm, comfortable, dry, and I defecated for the sixth, fifth, sixth day on the trot in a field like an animal. Oh! Oh! oh I'm it. back! Oh. I think we got some oh. air there. Oh! Oh! Oh. Ah. oh, God! That was not good. Still, at least things soon got worse. <laughs> Getting a golden shower now. Oh, geez, that's the worst it's been. If there's a cliff at the top of this, I'm going over. I'm just going to end it now. I want a glass of wine. We were aiming for the next target on our map, which was lots of trees. And soon, we found them. Oh, oh look at that. that! Wow! Wow! We! Holy mother of God! What an amazing place we're in! Next, we were looking for the big river, and to get a better view, we made once more for high ground. Come on, John. Yes, you can do it. I saw I find that quite funny. I think it's when it's happened. Go. What a machine you are, John! At the top, there was no river in sight, just more Mongolia. So we broke out the map. Right, we've got a decision to make. I reckon we're here, OK, because we've done lots of trees. We're about just sort of the end of that bit. We've got to cross this river, whatever happens. We could go either this way, up north and around. That probably is a bit further. 
or we could go south. That is a lot further than that, than that. Yes. But it ends in the deep river of despair with crashing water over rocks. They've, it's illustrated on the map. That yeah, they've does made not... a point of drawing it like and that. And if we can't cross there, we'll have to come all the way back up and round anyway. If we go this way, we'll find a track. There'll be a way along the side, the flanks of that lot. That valley there. Yes, yeah, so round. The that's a long way round. I know, it's but... further, but mm. it doesn't have that in it. We are agreed then, gentlemen. Yes. We are heading north. Yes. We're not interested in pretty, we're not interested in despair, we're interested in wine. And the easiest route is that <laughs> one. North. There you go. Saddle up. Our decision had added yet more miles to the journey, but there was an upside to that. We would get to see more of this achingly beautiful country. <laughs> Mongolia just changed again. What was I not expecting to see? Camels. Yeah. What am I seeing? Oh, pine smell. Oh. Go. It's going to be weird going home when you can't just set off in the direction you want to go. No, I want to go over there. I'll oh, just go over there then. You, it's going to be really strange. Oh, a smooth run to the river, pop across it, quick evening drive in tomorrow. Yeah, we can still get there tonight now. But then, when we arrived at the river, our hearts sank into our empty stomachs. Look at what's on the other side. I mean, look. Yeah, that, observe that, to your left, gentlemen. That is a huge problem. We, I mean, we, well, we can't get out. We're not even get up there, to be honest. Well, what do we do? I mean, that we we have to cross it. Thing is, it'll take uh, us yeah. hours. Um, yeah. To find yeah. somewhere to cross. Hours. And yeah. then it'll be dark. Yes. So. We're going it. to have. Yes, we're going to have to camp here. But we've got no food. That wasn't quite true. We had some flour and a packet of creamer, which we mixed with some ice-sharp river water and fresh herbs to create a soup that was surprisingly disgusting. And the next morning, we began our search for a crossing point. Well, hang on, is that a gap coming up there? Even if we could do 30 yards, look behind it. Look, we're going to turn around and try the other way. Go.
Eventually, though, after several more miles of searching... Wait a minute. That, that looks extremely nice. good. And That's the, the river's shallow there. Can you see? Yeah, where yeah. It's, where it's that looks point. like a bit of a gift. We're nearly done it. John can swim. I'm staggered. Way, John! I am staggered. <laughs> We're on the way to Gin Town. We were also low on fuel, but we had to plough on with the punishment. <laughs> Until two hours later, when we came across the most wonderful thing we'd ever seen. This was the first reminder in seven days that we were in the 21st century. Oh, my God! Yes! Wow! Oh I've never been so happy But we still had to make a critical decision. On one end of this... Is Moron. Yes. The question is, do we go left... or do we go right? Right. Oh, why right? Because I'm very lucky. And it's lucky to go right in Mongolia. What if that more. just goes all the way to nothing? Well, well if it, it went to nothing, nothing it would go to a power station. It will go to Russia. <laughs> go to a power station in Russia is where it'll go. One end's got a power station in Russia on the end of it. The other and has the other a end gin and tonic. Because yeah. it's got a gin and tonic. <laughs> right, we've decided let's just stick with it and have faith in our decision. Yeah, just to be crystal clear, though, if this is wrong, I, I will be the one that says, I told you it was left. Away! John has done it! Discovered that in Mongolia, it really is lucky to turn right. What a heavenly sight. <sighs> How far away do you reckon it is? 10k. Well, come on then, let's get this thing finished. Let's do it. Yeah. It hasn't been easy, has it? It really has. It oh, really no. hasn't. I mean, no. I'm just staggered that we haven't killed ourselves or each other, actually. Because while Mongolia has just been a constant source of wonderment, the actual business of getting across it has been, by far and away, the most difficult, gruelling, arduous journey we've ever done. I would say we've got hundreds of components. I haven't sent any beer, or gin, or wine, or alcohol of any sort. Oh, oh. Let it end! Oh. 
Yeah, okay. Oh, mate! I've lost my shoes! I can save this. And he's rolled it. Is, though, we couldn't have done any of that without John. No, it's been incredible. There's something else, you know. Even though we built it in the middle of a field in the dust, it has been unutterably reliable. The only thing we've had to do to this car is change the fuse. Yeah. It took about 30 seconds. But the moral of that is, if you're going on an expedition and you're absolutely dependent on your car for your life, get a job. <laughs> Look. It's, it's, I can't... I'm so excited and thirsty. <laughs> oh, my God. I've never wanted to arrive anywhere more than just there. Here we go. As oh, we go past the side, we're officially there. We are arriving, yeah. and we are yeah. here. Yeah. Yes! Yes! <laughs> we're in Moron! Hello, Moron! We love you! Hello, Moron! <laughs> <laughs> we have travelled far! That <laughs> was a journey! Yes! <laughs> The smoothness! Oh, this is beautiful! I like this tarmac, Lark! Right, we have now completed Mr Wilman's mission. Yes, sir. We must get on with completing ours. Yes, where's the pub? Exactly! Yes, right, and just another thing, as we've done Mr Wilman's mission, this bit's for us. James, can I drive this bit? No chance. Oh, come on. No, seriously, Alan, no. it's, not, no, it's not worth the risk at this late stage no. if you're putting it on its side. What risk? It what might be a bed. It might say finish. It won't be a bed. <coughs> you've had all the fun, you've done the exciting bits, the dunes and the mountains and the gullies and the deserts yeah, and the forests. Yeah, and now the town. James, what? seriously, just to shut him up, why don't you just let him have a go? Oh, really? Just let him drive. Pull up seriously? here. Seriously? Yes, honestly, just... All right. Please, pull up here. It's yeah. your fault. Oh, yes! Unbelievable. Right, now you see some driving. There we go. We're a pub! Pub! What? Pub! What? Oh. What? I've only done two feet! It's shut. What? It's shut. Do you know what it is as well? It, it is. is shut. And on that terrible disappointment, it's time to end. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>